We've done 10 knots so far. Um, I hope you followed them. Remember, you can always go back and rewind and check them again and slow, slowly you know, to see how it is being done. Now, the next 10 we're going to do needs to be done on the ground or in a flat surface because, um, um, you know, it deals with, you know, you need to, you need to work on it on a flat surface, not on your hand. It's a bit difficult to do it. And so we're going to show you um, how to do that. So the first one we're going to show you is the fisherman's knot. The fisherman's knot um, and how that is going to be done. Okay? Okay. The fisherman's knot um, is a knot that is needed to um, tie two pieces of um, string together. Now, fisherman's knot is, you know, they use, to, you know, if the nets broke, they, 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 they put the nets together. So the fisherman's knot is very simple. So you take two pieces of rope or you can take the two ends of the rope, two pieces of rope together or two ends. What you need to do is this side, you need to make a, um, you know, just a, just a loop, an overhand uh, knot. Okay, so you just tie it like that. On this side, you do the same thing. You go around and you tie it like that. Okay, so, so what you want to do is, you see, there you go. You tie the one end. Let me, let me open it again so you can see. So you're tying the running end around the standing end of the knot. Yes? So there you go. And what you do is, now the standing ends, the two standing ends, you pull together. And that's what you create your fisherman's knot. The next one we're going to do is called a sheep shank. Okay, a sheep shank. Now, sheep shank means it's a, it's a piece of rope that you want to shorten. Now, there's certain cases that perhaps the rope is too long, but you want to shorten it in order to work with it better. So a sheep shank is you take your two meter rope and I want you to make two, two bites. You got it? Two bites on the rope. And so what you need to do, because you want to shorten the scissor string, what you need to do is uh, take this running end, this working end of the rope, make a loop, okay, do a bite, no, sorry, do a overhand knot around that bite, you see it? And this side you do the same thing, do an overhand um, knot around that, you tighten it together, and if you, if you can see, if you pull these two running ends tightly, the knot should hold. Now I'm going to do the cat's paw. Okay, you know a cat? Cat's claw? Cat's paw. Okay, very simple. You take your rope again and I need you to um, make two underhand loops like that. You see it? Okay. Now I want you to twist it one more and one more, right? So there's, you can see there's almost, there's uh, three loops. You twist it a third time. So you can see little three, um, four um, loops like that. You do the same thing here. One, two, three, okay? So you've got one. Look at that, you've got like four little, um, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four circles underneath that. So what you want to do is you want to take that together, okay, and then you pass that through your object and you pull, all right, you pull it together like that. There's your cat's paw, okay? There's your cat's paw. Remember, 
you've got to have, when you do your, your loops, make sure, if you want to be sure, make sure that you've got, if you pull it apart, you've got, you have um, four different circles like that. One, two, three, four different circles and on the same side like that. And when you put it together, when you put it together, you don't put it over each other, you twist it around like that, okay? You twist it around like that and that gets pushed into, show it there, pushed into your object and when it gets pulled together, that is what your cat's paw look like. Okay, that's your cat's paw. So next one we're gonna do is your anchor bend. Your anchor bend. Okay, so there's your object. So what I want you to do is your running end. Running end goes around like that, one turn. Okay, then it goes again, another turn. All right, everybody with me? Okay, so that's another turn. I need you to do so what your running end comes now you take it in front of your standing end and you push it through okay through those all right that's your first loop and then what I want you to do is then you take it around again and you push it through this loop and that's when you have your anchor bend now we're gonna do your double sheet bend remember your sheet bend that fox again okay now what's going to happen is there's your sheet bend your bend your bite this is the fox he comes out of the hole remember he comes out of the hole what i want you to do is now i want you to take him around once okay he passes in front of his tail you go around a second time he passes in front of his tail again and that gets pulled tightly there. Okay, your fisherman's loop, guys. Underhand, underhand loop, okay? There's your loops. What you want you to do is push the one across like that so you look almost like a heart-shaped um, little structure there yes so what I want you to do is take this rope underneath there underneath the whole cross push it through okay and pull it through there and pull it together like that okay that's your fisherman's loop all right your slipped half hitch, okay? So, there's your object, your running end comes around like that, right? There's your running end, and it passes, okay, in the back of that, in the back of your standing end. But now this time, you know, what you want you to do is that I want you to make a bite, a bite, and that one goes Okay, remember it's your running end is 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 behind, sorry, behind the the standing end. Okay, the bite then goes in front of your standing end and through the hole. Yes, through the hole, and it gets pulled tight like that. Short line hitch okay so this is your object your running in comes through there okay all right what you want you to do is go around in the front of that it comes through the loop all right you're taking it around again for a second time okay it comes out taking it to the top and bring it around like that again and that is what you want to um, create the next one we're going to do it's the last one 
is your two half hitches, okay? So you've got your uh, running end, standing end coming down, your running end goes around your object, yes? You take it in front of your standing end, you bring it through the loop, and then you take it again around and you bring it in front of your loop and so you're pulling it tight um, like that yes two half hitches so on the end front through the hole and you do the same across front through through the hole and your two half hitches. 20 knots done that you can memorize and you can um, show your friends, show off the ones that you can do. Remember, you can always rewind and check them. And if there's any questions, just email me, pathfinders at secadventist.org.uk for um, what you want to do. Okay, the final thing that we need to do and... Um, that's not uh, where I'm going to help you, where you need to work on. Remember, there's 20 knots that I've already shown you. Now, that needs to be placed on a knot board. Now, I've shown you what a knot board is, but you can't do a knot board. Don't think it's possible because you've got to go out and buy stuff. The easiest one, simple way, is to create a montage, right, or a collage of all the ones. And so um, you can see the picture I've shown you. Um, the pictures so you take, you take a picture of each knot that you've done take a picture of it on on you know on a dark blanket or something like that that I've shown you take a picture of it and on on word PowerPoint or whatever you know put them all together to all 25 knots um, save it um, as a picture or save it as a file and then send it to me and we want to see that you've made your knots so there we go not tying on a done and dusted and um, yep worksheet will follow um, or you can write all the stuff on the link in the pathfinder website and yes when you're done send it to us pathfinders at seven sorry pathfinders at, at secadventist.org.uk um, we'll assess it you know send it to the local clubs whatever um, and uh, you can have your honor good luck mm -hmm.